Okay, I got another one for you guys, okay? 3D printed spool holder. Hey guys, Justin here from Tin Man Electronics, and this week I have to build myself another spool holder for a new spool of PLA filament that I got. In last week's video, I printed with two colors, okay? Now I've got a, a spool of black filament, which I've had forever, and that has a spool holder, except my new filament, which is a, a spool of green filament, does not have a spool holder, and I gotta fix that. I wanna have a spool holder for each, okay? Now the spools themselves are physically different, okay? The black one is thinner, and the green one is wider, so I can't actually use the, the spool holder I've already made to fit both of them, essentially. So that means my black spool already has a spool holder. I've already built one, and I'm gonna build one almost exactly the same, except just a little wider, so that it could fit my green filament. All these 3D printed parts are just connector pieces, end pieces, right? It's, you know, highly inspired from my own 3D printer that I have here. And all you do is you put in some threaded rod in between these connector pieces, and you've got yourself that 3D printed spool holder. It's not the easiest thing to, to put together because once you start tapping these and just the order that you put the threaded rods through the, the connector pieces here, all of a sudden you realize, oh, okay, this is, uh, this actually has to take a bit more thinking while you're putting it together. You'll see that the connector pieces have holes in them, right, to set the threaded rod through them, but I've also designed in some little pilot holes, okay? Uh, so, so the process that I'm going to go through for tapping these holes to put threaded rod through them is I've got the pilot hole, so I'll, I'll drill the tap drill size, so I'll, I'll, I'll drill initially and then I'll go in with the tap. So that's what the pilot hole is there for, is to keep a nice straight and centered drill so that I don't, you know, ruin something. And also the pilot hole is so that I could actually put this thing together. You'll see that at the corners, you'll the, the, the holes go all the way through and that's so that you could stick your tap in there so it, that is not necessarily the best looking thing it is kind of ugly in that sense but you know you're looking at it from from far and it looks just fine so to build it it's pretty simple so first thing i got to do is uh, 3d print those connector pieces so i print them out I print them out in green because obviously your green spool holder is going to be holding your green filament so I got myself some green connector pieces right on. And after you print your connector pieces you got to cut the threaded rod so I'm just I'm just gathering the materials right so I need the connector pieces and the threaded rod and that's all I need for materials and from there so you see here I've got all my my cut threaded rod I, I didn't show you guys that because it's freezing in the garage that's where the reciprocating saw is I just cut them you know I'm freezing my ass off I just get back in home and it's like yeah I didn't even want to waste my time filming that or else my fingers would have fallen off sorry then you have all your materials and with the connector pieces you could start tapping them so I go through I, I pre-drill like I, I put a little pilot hole and maybe, you know, maybe I'll, I'll drill a larger hole, which is the tap size hole. And then I go in with the tap, okay? If this is a lot easier if you have a vise. I don't have a vise in my room, so pliers maybe? I don't know. Um, I might have to find something else. Maybe I'll just show you guys of me doing one without the vise, and then I'll go to the garage, freeze my ass off again, and, um, and tap these using a, the vise in the garage, so... Uh, I'll, I'll get back to you guys with these tapped connector pieces. And then, you put the whole damn thing together. So you have your parts, you've got your tapped 3D printed connector parts, you've got your threaded rod, you basically just you screw it all together and see what it looks like and hopefully um, it turns out good. <laughs>
I just finished building the spool holder, guys. It looks a lot better than my first one. It is a little more wobbly than the first one, but it's uh, so far so good. Like I'm, I'm very pleased with the, the outcome of this little project. As for improvements on this spool holder, I could incorporate something to, uh, to hold the spool a lot better. So right now it's, it's kind of just dangling, um, not, not really turning in a perfectly circular motion. It's more like an oval, oval-like motion because the, the axis of rotation is not perfectly in the center of the spool. So what I could do to improve on that is to actually print something that will hold the threaded rod perfectly in the center of the spool. And maybe I could even throw in a 608 bearing to uh, to just give it a nice smooth, I don't know, it's just like, it's it's just gravy, you know? Um, I don't have to do it, but you know, it, it might increase my printing quality a tiny bit, but beyond that, I mean, it, it won't increase the quality that much. So it, like I said, it's just gravy. Oh my God, and you know what? I can't forget this. I have to put little rubber feet on the bottom of this spool holder. That was a close one. And yeah, like the, the whole idea behind um, increasing my print quality with that is is the fact that when the, the extruder head is going back and forth, it's kind of tugging on the, the filament. And because the threaded rod is not perfectly in the center of the spool, it, the, the, the spool kind of rocks back. So, you know, it, it tugs it a bit, the spool rocks back, and it kind of, it, uh, it puts a tension between the extruder and the filament, and it kind of, whenever the, the spool rocks back, it kind of technically pulls it out a bit. So it just, that actually creates artifacts that are visible in the, the print. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Tin Man Electronics, where I built myself another spool holder. I know, it's not that much electronics related, but I will be getting back into electronics. I'm just trying to set up my shop better. I've got a Murphy bed coming up um, that I'll build myself. I've got some more projects coming up, guys, so stay tuned. If you like my channel, subscribe to it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, or if you like the spool holder design, it looks good, give it a, a thumbs up and let me know if you want the files for it. Um, if you want the open SCAD files, let me know because uh, then, then I could just convert the, the SolidWorks file to, uh, to that. You could follow me on Twitter at Justin Tinman, and I've also started a Facebook page. So that's uh, Facebook.com/slash Tinman Electronics. I've got a website. I'm slowly improving it bit by bit with my new Linux OS on my system. Um, www.tinmanelectronics.com. So check it out, guys. I hope you love the channel. Mm. That is engineering. Woo!